Hey guys, Wilhelm1407 here. Today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to install custom scenery, custom track rides, and custom flat rides. A great place to get custom content, such as the ones I just mentioned, is customscenerydepot.com. Right now we're on the home page of the site, and we want to go to the Downloads tab at the top of the page. On the Downloads page, you can find all kinds of custom content for RCT3. Everything from custom scenery, CTR, CFR, CTs, and ride files, park files, and miscellaneous files. You can also find files for No Limits, Theme Park Studio, Parkitect, and Planet Coaster. Everything from this tutorial I downloaded from the custom scenery list and the CTRs, CFRs, and CT list. For this tutorial, I'm using custom content I technically already have. Uh, but for the custom scenery portion of this tutorial, I will be using Moby's Steel Jungle V1 and V2. This is my favorite set for doing custom supports in Roller Coaster Tycoon 3, and it's kind of a must-have. For the custom flat ride portion of the tutorial, I'll be using CFH Rides Rocco Plane slash Star Ferris Wheel. It's a nice classic ride to have in your collection, and CFH Rides has a lot of really nice CFRs to choose from. And finally, for the custom track ride portion of the tutorial, I'm using the Codemasters B&M Ultimate Pack. This custom track ride set comes with 12 different B&M train types, so if you really like B&Ms, this is definitely the set for you. All the custom content in this tutorial is downloaded in WinRAR files. If you don't have the program, you can download the free trial and don't worry, the free trial actually never really ends. Uh, you can just close up any pop-ups that ask you to actually purchase it after you've installed it. It's really silly, but good for those of us that really can't just throw money around. So starting off with the installation part of the tutorial, I like to set up a folder specifically to download my RAR files into. Um, and that way I can keep track of everything a lot easier. The first set we're going to install is the Moby Steel Jungle V1 and V2 and to do that you just simply right click on it and go to extract here and it will extract all of the files to this location. Now this set comes with three folders one of which I don't believe has any real purpose as the website uh, installation instructions says extract the file and place the two folders into style themed as usual. I even went as far as to search my Rollercoaster Tycoon directory for this file or folder name and nothing came up. Since I'm not going to be using the file I just got rid of it and the only two files that we really need to worry about are these two here. Now these two files are the files you want to copy and paste into your RCT3 directory. And where you're going to paste that depends on where your directory is located. Because my game is installed on the Windows C drive, my RCT3 directory is going to be located in this. If you're using a 32-bit operating system, your RCT3 directory will be in program file. However, if you're using a 64-bit operating system, your RCT3 directory will be in Program Files x86. Then from there, you're going to go to Atari, and then Roller Coaster Tycoon 3 or Roller Coaster Tycoon 3 Platinum, whichever one you have. From there, you want to scroll down to Style. And then you want to go into the folder themed. And then you just simply paste the two folders you copied into this folder. Now because I already have this, I'm not going to replace the files or anything, but you would just normally paste these files into this folder. So some custom scenery you will download will download as one folder sometimes. In some cases there might not be a readme file with the instructions. If there's no installation instructions on the site you downloaded it from 
and you don't have a readme file, the solution isn't usually very difficult. A lot of sets like this will come as one folder with the title of the custom scenery set. I made a folder of Moby Steel Jungle just for an example. So say you've downloaded a custom scenery set and you have one folder and you need to make sure it's the right folder that you need to copy. The way you can make sure you're copying the right folder is by opening the one folder and seeing if there are other folders inside. If there are other folders inside, you need to open them up and make sure that these folders have the files style.common.ovl and style.unique.ovl. If the folders you've opened have these files, then they're the correct folders. You would just simply go back out of those folders and copy the folders that contain those files into your style themed directory. Moving on to custom flat rides, we're going to right click on the Rocco Plane RAR file and extract to here, just like we did with Moby Steel Jungle. Now this set comes with an installation guide. It generally is best to read these even if you're experienced at installing custom content. Here it says to put the folder CFH rides inside your style slash common folder. So going back to my style folder in my Roller Coaster Tycoon 3 directory, you'll notice I have a folder named custom. All custom flat rides will go in this folder. So you'll need to make a new folder and name it custom, and you'll want to be sure that's with a capital C. Now before we install this custom flat ride, I want to take a moment to explain something. The CFH rides folder actually contains the folder for your custom flat ride. Here you see inside is the folder for the Rocco Plane ride. All custom flat rides are inside a folder located in your style custom folder. Generally, the containing folders will be named after the custom flat rides creator. And Every custom flat ride will go in the folder that is named after its creator. So going back to the folder you downloaded your custom flat ride to, you're going to copy the CFH rides folder only if you do not have a CFH rides folder already containing other custom flat rides by CFH rides. Now you simply paste the CFH rides folder into your style custom folder. If you already have other CFH rides installed, you would only copy the ride folder. So if you already have a CFH rides folder in your style custom folder, you would only copy the Rocco Plane folder and paste it into CFH rides. Some custom flat rides will come with scenery, and generally there will be a readme text file that comes with the download. The readme file will tell you everything you need to know um, as to where each file goes. Finally, the last part I will cover is custom tracked rides. Back in your download folder, right click on the RAR file BNM Ultimate Pack Part 1 and extract to here. Once extracted, you'll see that there are 13 folders and one readme text file. One of the 13 folders contains the track for the custom tracked ride. The other 12 folders will be car files. I'll start by installing the track. Copy the folder CTR BNM Ultimate Pack and go back to your Roller Coaster Tycoon 3 directory. Scroll down to the folder, Tracks, and open it up. Now open Tracked Rides. Paste your copied folder into this folder, and now your track is installed. After that, you can go back to your Roller Coaster Tycoon 3 directory and your Downloads folder. In your Downloads folder, copy the other 12 folders to install these car files for the custom tracked ride, in your RCT3 directory, find the folder cars and open it up. Then open tracked ride cars and paste the 12 folders into it. And now the custom tracked ride is fully installed.
Some custom tracked rides, however, won't have a readme file. As an example, I'll use the CTR we just used. Sometimes the creators will have the files in folders simply named cars and track. Other times there will be folders that are labeled as the two directories, tracked ride cars and tracked rides. In both situations, you'll most likely find the folders that you need to copy. So just as a quick review, these are the directories that you will want to remember when installing custom content. Style themed, style custom, tracks, tracked rides, cars, tracked ride cars. Now that your custom content is installed, you can load the game. And here I am opening the BNM Ultimate Pack. It really doesn't have an icon other than CTR on it. And it starts off inverted, so just if you don't want it inverted, click the upward facing track piece and then click station unless you're building an inverted style B&M coaster. Now for the trains, we have B&M flying coaster trains, stand-up trains, sit-down, second-gen invert, first-gen invert, Floorless Coaster, and a variety of floorless dive machines. And after that we have B&M second gen hyper coaster trains, and then first gen hyper trains. And then we're back to the flying coaster, so that's all the trains that this CTR has. And then you can find Moby's Steel Jungle under the Walls tab, and this is our custom scenery set that we installed. Uh, there's two different types. There's uh, V1, which is the thinner version of the supports, and then there's V2, which is a thicker version of the supports. As for the Rocco plane, you can find that in the Thrill Rides tab, and it's got a nice picture of it for the icon, and you have a working custom flat ride. That's all for this tutorial. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I hope I explained everything okay. If you have any questions, um, let me know in the comment section, um, and I will see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching.